I'm Ed Poole. And I'm Susan Poole. And welcome to Louisiana Film History Flashback. In this episode, we take a look at a Louisiana shot film that introduced moviegoers to Academy Award winner Reese Witherspoon. Witherspoon was born in New Orleans and raised in Nashville. At the age of 14, she attended an open casting for the 1991 film The Man in the Moon, auditioning for a bit part. Instead, producers chose Witherspoon for the lead role after auditioning thousands of teenagers throughout the country. The screenplay was written by Jenny Wingfield, a preacher's daughter raised in the Natchitoches area where the movie was filmed. Many of the pivotal scenes were shot on location at Kasachi Falls, part of Louisiana's only national forest. The Man in the Moon garnered rave reviews for acting, directing, musical score, and scenery. So let's flash back to 1991 for the coming-of-age film Man in the Moon. Kasachi Falls, located in Kasachi National Forest and its surrounding communities, provided a beautiful backdrop for the 1991 film The Man in the Moon. The only national forest in Louisiana, it is located in the piney hills and hardwood bottoms of seven central and northern parishes in Louisiana. Set in the summer of 1957, Man in the Moon is a coming-of-age drama involving a family who becomes disrupted when two sisters fall in love with the same young man. Screenwriter Jenny Wingfield based the story on events from her childhood, which was spent in Robilene, Louisiana, one of the shooting locations. The Man in the Moon marked her first produced screenplay. The movie is based on a true story about the tragic death of a local teenager who lost his life in a farming accident on Highway 71 in Clarence, Louisiana. Jenny Wingfield's father officiated the funeral of the young man from Natchitoches Parish, who was the basis for the film's character of Court Foster. Danny! Danny, you come back here! Well, that's all right, Mama. That's all right for you. That's all right, Mama. Just any way you do, that's all right. Remember when you couldn't wait for your life to begin? And then, one day, it did. Well, Mama, she done told me. Papa done told me, too. Son, that guy, you wish he Who the hell do you think you are? This is the foster place, so if you're naming foster... Oh, well, it just so happens that it is. Court, come on down here. Let Matt and Abby get a look at you. They haven't seen you since you was in diapers. like to kiss a boy. Come here. Come on. Okay. Now you kind of open your mouth just a little. Uh uh. Have you ever been kissed before? I'm not a little girl. You are too, Danny. You're a little girl and you don't know what you're doing. Danny! I like that boy, Maurice. A lot. Don't you? But you know you're not old enough to date. Hi. I've been meaning to come by to visit with your mother. I've been busy getting things ready for school that I just didn't get around to it. But I will do it, I promise. Well, maybe if you were just a little bit older, you could understand. If I were just a little bit older, I could do everything. I will spend my whole life through loving you, just loving you. Winter, summer, springtime too. From Robert Loving Mulligan, director of To Kill a Mockingbird and Summer of 42. Loving you. You know, Danny, you and Maureen are going to be sisters for a long time. Sam Waterston. Maureen's been good to you all your days, remember that. Tess Harper. Used to be she was too little, and now she's too big. I guess she passed up just right when nobody was looking. Emily Warfield. I didn't mean to hurt you, Danny. Jason London. Don't love me now. When things are so mixed up. And introducing Reese Witherspoon. I wish I could still talk to the man in there. Don't you? Mm -hmm. 
Man in the Moon was directed by Robert Mulligan, whose earlier projects included To Kill a Mockingbird in 1962 and Summer of 42 in 1971. In an interview, Mulligan said that he wanted to get real young people to portray the main characters of Danny, Court, and Maureen, so he began a three-month search through the South. His scouts interviewed two to three hundred kids a day, 5,000 in all in Texas, Louisiana, Tennessee, and the Carolinas. Mulligan looked at the best tapes and narrowed it down to Reese Witherspoon, Jason London, and Emily Warfield. Reese Witherspoon was born in New Orleans and raised in Nashville, Tennessee, which was where she auditioned for the part. Her debut performance in Man in the Moon would lead to a successful and award-winning career. Jason London auditioned for his role in Dallas. Man in the Moon was his second of many movie roles. Man in the Moon was Emily Warfield's third movie. She also auditioned in Dallas. She made her acting debut in the 1989 film Blaze, which was also filmed on location in Louisiana. The roles of the parents were played by veteran actors Sam Waterston, Tess Harper, and Gail Strickland. To capture the essence of the small southern town in the 1950s depicted in the movie, Mulligan spent two months of pre-production just searching for a possible location. Looking throughout South and Mississippi, Georgia, North and South Carolina, and Texas, he eventually returned to the place that he had looked to begin with, screenwriter Jenny Wingfield's hometown. Principal photography began in the Natchitoches area on June the 11th, 1990, and lasted approximately nine weeks. Filmmakers selected the Murphy Pratt Place, a 1911 two-story house located on Cane River near Point Place to serve as the family's residence. Black Lake and Kisachi Falls provided the setting for Danny and Court's adventures at the swimming hole. Other film locations include downtown Manny, Natchez, Old Robeline Methodist Church, Robeline Cemetery, the Bob Welch Farm, the Natchitoches Country Club, and along the banks of the Cane River. The film's end credit includes the following dedication in memory of Gene Callahan. Callahan served as the film's production designer. He was a native of Louisiana and had a lifelong association with the state. He kept a home in Baton Rouge, where he began his designing career in the 1940s as a student at LSU. Callahan amassed more than 50 movies and 1,000 television credits as he won Academy Awards for his set design for The Hustler and America. He was production designer on Steel Magnolias, which was filmed in Natchitoches in 1989. Callahan died of a heart attack in Baton Rouge four months after production of The Man in the Moon. On October the 4th, 1991, Parkway Theater in Natchitoches hosted a black tie crowd which gathered for the premiere of the film. Some of the film stars, including Witherspoon, attended a screening of the film in Los Angeles, which coincided with the Louisiana showing. This has been a presentation of Hollywood on the Bayou, preserving Louisiana's rich film history with books, prints, presentations, and exhibits. If you have questions, comments, or to learn more, you can visit our Facebook page or sign up for our Louisiana and Film newsletter, which is on our website, hollywoodonthebayou.com. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Louisiana Film History Flashback. Sue and I thank you, and we'll see you next time.